Today I'm here to talk to you about boobies. And I'm going to tell you about my experience with it. I'm going to tell you how I really feel about breastfeeding. If you don't know already, I had breastfed my son for five months. I could not exclusively breastfeed him because of my pre-existing condition which is PCOS and that really does inhibit um, women from producing enough supply. There's also just a lot that goes into breastfeeding that you just have to commit to all the way or else you will your supply is going to suffer and you won't be able to exclusively breastfeed maybe for as long as you want. And so in my head, I really did have a goal of breastfeeding for at least six months, but my body was like, ah. <laughs> um, it was a lot tougher than anyone could have ever told me. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of emotional work, physical work. Um, you had to like feel it. You had to really want it. And if you don't really want it, you kind of think it's cute. You believe in your heart that it's supposed to be natural and it's supposed to come easy. It doesn't. At least it didn't for me. So it was the hardest thing to do and to keep up with. Also, my lifestyle is just different in general. So I can go all day eating one meal. I can go all day without drinking more than two cups of water. That's just how my lifestyle is. I'm always moving, I'm always on the go, or I always have something more important to do than to constantly eat and constantly drink and constantly pump and come. Yeah, it really became just something that I was no longer willing to do. It was only when the baby got to about three months where I actually wanted to try my hardest to continue to do it because that's when Wes started to really connect with me. So I would put him to my chest and he would look at me and he would smile and he would do things that like made me feel like I was appreciated as opposed to just feeling like a cow, you know? So um, I was like, oh my God, I really want to continue and continue. But my supply had already kind of dropped. And so I had to feed the baby and supplement with formula because I wasn't producing enough for his appetite. I had a friend that bought me the supplements from Legendary and I heard a lot of good things about their products and about their supplements and stuff, but it just wasn't working for me. I tried the milk, the mama milk made tea. I tried eating oatmeal. I tried drinking all the water, but then it just got to a point where I couldn't keep up. I just... I just quit. I stopped drinking the 8 million gallons of water that I needed to. Um, I wasn't eating as often as I should have. I wasn't intaking the calories that I needed to produce enough milk. And it just got to a point where I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm, I basically was already weaning him off of the breast because I wasn't keeping up with all of the things you had to do to keep your supply um, up. It sucked. And it was heartbreaking for me. Um, Wes could really care less because he just wants food regardless. It wasn't hard to detach himself from me. It was more like me wanting to continue and wanting to do it, knowing that breast is best and everything like that. And I had this this like thing in my brain that was like, you can't give your kid formula. This is terrible for them. That's the farthest from the truth. And I don't know why or who or what it was that made me feel like such a terrible mom for even thinking about formula but that hurdle I had gotten over really early um in West's life because I just knew that breastfeeding was going to be a struggle for me and I kept reading that PCOS was an issue in terms of breastfeeding there's so much that goes on with a newborn that I just wasn't able I really wanted to pushed through but I just couldn't and I was no longer willing to sacrifice more time into doing this. I just had to come to a point where I was going to be proud of myself for the amount of time and effort and tears and sweat and pain and uh, sacrifice that I had put into feeding him breast for as long as I did. I have a friend 
a really great friend that gave me her Modella Freestyle. And this thing, I don't know how people pump with any other device other than one that is hands-free, right? So although this made my life so much easier because I could just put on my pumping bra and pop this bad boy on and be able to walk around the house and clean and do this and do that with this on, it still was like pulling teeth. I still hated strapping this thing on i just i just despised pumping i really did i don't know what it was about it but shout out to my girl who all she did was pump because her baby didn't latch properly also breastfeeding as much as people say it's cheaper than than formula because you need the bottles you need the formula you need the formula mixer you need the water all the stuff like that pumping can also be expensive too because you want to really good pump if you want to pump well um and you there's other supplies that are helpful to you so um these bad boys you uh warm them up in the microwave or you put them in the refrigerator for when you need uh some boob therapy so you know you spend money on like gadgets like this i also had a breast massager that i can't find i had these these hakas which were incredible because while i was breastfeeding on one side i would attach this to my other boob and then it would catch all of the extra milk that was just flowing because i was feeding on the other side so although this is inexpensive this is just another add-on for those that exclusively breastfeed and also i did it initially use disposable nursing pads but you eventually want to get your a bag so you know it adds up as well for me it wasn't painful um it was uncomfortable in the very beginning it was like Ugh, what the heck but it wasn't like excruciating pain um i had stopped breastfeeding before west even got teeth so i didn't experience like him chomping down on me with teeth he would gum me to death sometimes but there were no teeth there what did make it more uncomfortable in the very beginning was that west was tongue-tied and no one told us that until i had a lactation consultant come over because i wanted to fix my latch i kind of felt like something was off and so through my insurance i had a lactation consultant come over and she knew immediately that he was tongue-tied and she was like they didn't tell you this at the hospital and I'm like, no, what are you talking about? Like, I didn't even know what tongue tied was. And so we eventually had to get that corrected by going to uh, an ear, nose and throat doctor. We had a lot of issues in the very beginning. And I thank God that my instinct told me to get a lactation consultant to come over to help us as painful as it was for all three of us. It was the best decision we could have ever made um because he never had an issue eating since then um and then it made breastfeeding even more comfortable i'm just so blessed that wes did not discriminate against boob or bottle he took well to both and so that made that did make my life a little bit easier my encouragement to you is that if you want to do it so badly do it and to strive and let every day in your mind be a goal that has been met. You know, I made it another day. I might not have made it to six months, but I made it to five months. And that's that's a goal that I've met. And I had to take it literally day by day because some days were amazing. And some days I was like, mm, no, this ain't gonna work, honey. And um, Dave was extremely supportive. He was more supportive than any of my other family. I had um, a lot of issues actually with my family and I feel like that played a huge role in um, why breastfeeding was as stressful as it was. Um, they didn't really help me in terms of the stress that breastfeeding already brings to the table. Um, I felt pressure to breastfeed. I felt like formula wasn't a good decision, especially if I had something to offer that was better. Funny story. At Thanksgiving I actually had a cousin that I don't see very often come over and she saw that I was giving my baby formula and 
later on she like texts me and says you know i i feel so sorry for the baby i'm like oh my god what happened she goes oh because you give him formula if you don't give him breast milk you know there's ways that you can like produce more and you know he's too young for formula What? first of all i went off but i was having such a good time going off because she sounded so stupid and i was like oh i'm gonna have fun with this i'm really gonna stretch this out and i was like wait babies aren't supposed to have formula oh my god please tell me you know what what is a mother to do mind you she ain't got kids she ain't got a husband you know what? I'm not going to rant on my YouTube vlog. I'm, I could save that for Instagram. Okay. But what I'm saying is that I had pressure from the people that are supposed to be encouraging you and surrounding you and supporting you. You do you, boo. Okay. If you feel like this is your time to breastfeed and to connect with your baby this way, then do it. If you can't handle it, you tried it, you gave it your all, you, you really just don't have it in you to continue then call it quits and that's okay that's perfectly fine and whether you've given your baby gallons of breast milk or you haven't given that baby a drop of breast milk you're still an amazing mom you're still a person that sacrificed everything for your baby and as long as your baby is fed growing gaining weight happy that's all you need to worry about and i literally had to keep reminding myself that every single day sometimes multiple times a day because no one else understood that except for my other mommy friends on my instagram or my youtube that would like text me and let me know you're doing amazing you're doing phenomenal as long as your baby's fine and happy then that's all you need to worry about i am so glad that i had people in my corner reminding me of that and although they weren't my family these friends are my family and that's what i needed to remember as well just because my mom or my grandmother or my aunts or my cousin who <laughs> i think a few screws are missing um all, although they weren't the ones that were in my corner cheering me on although i didn't have them encouraging me in the way that i really needed to be encouraged i did have other people to encourage me that way and i just had to remind myself that i did enough i did more than enough I really pushed myself. I didn't just give up easily. It wasn't worth making a huge stink about because Wes doesn't care. He did not care. He just wanted food. So I hope that doesn't discourage you from trying breastfeeding or um, or anything like that. But I just wanted to let you guys know what I went through in terms of my breastfeeding experience, how difficult it was. But it was also the most rewarding thing ever. So that's all about my breastfeeding experience. Thank you guys for tuning in i shall catch you later i have to go attend to my baby now so when you're breastfeeding you're supposed to be eating like a cow and ain't nobody got time for that okay you have a baby a newborn right that's constantly in your arms just came out of your womb and now all of a sudden, you're supposed to be pumping. And when you're not pumping, you're supposed to be latching them on. And when you're not latching them on, you're supposed to be eating 600 calories. And when you're not eating 600 calories, you're supposed to be drinking water. And then when you're not drinking water, you go into the bathroom because you're drinking so much water, right? And then um, you're supposed to be catching all the milk that's coming out of your boobs because you start to leak. And then you're supposed to make sure that you don't catch mastitis. And then you're supposed to make sure that you massage yourself and you touch yourself, right? That's basically what they're saying. Um, so that you don't get a clogged milk duct, right? And then when you get a clogged milk duct, you're supposed to go to the doctor to get antibiotics. But then when you're on antibiotics, you can't feed your baby because it's medicine, right? And then um, when your supply goes down because you caught an infection, then you're supposed to spend money on some, you know, herbals and some other um, ways to boost your supply up again because you have to feed your starving child. And you're supposed to feed your starving child every two to three hours or more if your baby's crazy like mine, right? So yeah, breastfeeding was so easy. It came so naturally to me. 
and um that's the end of my TED talk I'm gonna go now